Mm, oh yeah. Breakfast to champions. What's up guys, Kevin Reese here. So tonight I want to kind of take y'all on a little trip. I'm gonna go hit the gym, uh, gonna eat a little bit. So just kind of like a little vlog. So let's go ahead and get started. And I know this is kind of like something new I'm trying guys, trying to get a little more active with y'all. It's like stay a little more engaged, you know, just try to engage my audience more, to try to get a little more content out there. Uh, it's gonna be a little different, but I um, just kind of want to maybe get a little more personal with you guys um, so y'all can see some more of my videos, kind of what I do. Um, so tonight, like I said, I'm off, off work. Um, I work night shift, uh, y'all know that, you know, in the ICU. Um, I'm a registered nurse, so I work uh, in my ICU. So that's kind of what I do, um, work last night. So I'm off tonight. When I do my weight training and stuff, I usually do it on my evenings off. So we're gonna hit the gym. Uh, right now, like I said, guys, just had some food here real quick. Just a bagel with a little peanut butter on it. Uh, a little banana and um, this kind of body armor drink that I actually had left over from the Spartan race that I did. Uh, just drank some of it, but I mean, this this stuff's pretty good. You know, you can see natural flavors. There's no caffeine or anything in it. All your vitamins in there, electrolytes, coconut water, gluten-free, no caffeine. But not bad, not bad stuff. Um, and I always, you know, have some water and stuff to drink. So you're gonna be doing that. But you know, anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna eat a little bit. And I've really kind of been doing this uh, like intermittent fasting where I haven't really been you know, eating a whole lot before I weight train. There's a lot of benefits to that. I'm gonna talk about that later in the video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, it's gonna, it was gonna be a minute before I got to the gym, so I just had to put something in my stomach, guys. I've been asleep probably like eight, nine hours a day. I uh, was beat, I was so tired. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and uh, kinda get this camera stuff together for y'all because uh, it's gonna be a busy night. I'll take y'all along with me. Let's get started. That's nice to walk out to. Walked into a huge spider. Look at this thing, guys. Dang, y'all, that's a big one. Get. Get. Get out here and cut this grass for long, guys. Probably be the last, the last cut before winter gets here. Two thousand sitting over there. Have one fifty sitting over there. I'm gonna hop in the hop in the Honda. All right, guys. So we're here. Got the Converse on because it's leg day today. Here, at good old anytime fitness. Go ahead and let's get
All right, y'all, so one thing I like to do is keep my rest periods time, uh, minute, minute and a half. When I'm doing legs, training a bunch of big muscle group, it takes a lot out of you guys. Uh, I used to try to do like a minute and a half, so I always keep it, y'all see my other videos, my G-Shock watch. So I always keep that with the stopwatch so I can keep, keep track of my time, so I can stay on time with it. So let's keep going. All right, guys. So we got us a good workout in tonight. Um, that was legs and shoulders, kind of typically what I do. Um, and I kind of do like a split. And if y'all want to see some videos, um, I can break it down uh, actually like what I'm doing and um, and kind of show y'all actually what actually what I do in the gym. So if y'all want to see some videos like that, just drop a comment. Um, if I get enough comments uh, saying that's what y'all want to see, I'll do it. But I am a AFAA licensed certified personal trainer, so I have plenty of knowledge when it comes to that. Also, with being a registered nurse, um, I have, uh, and I mean, anatomy, anatomy and physiology one and two. I made A's and B's in that. Those, that's bio 210 and 211. So I have plenty of knowledge when it comes to that. And I've been doing this for a while. I worked at a gym for four years. So it's kind of some backstory and stuff about me. So if y'all want to see some videos like that, just let me know. I'd be glad. I'll be more than happy to do some workout videos um, and just kind of go into detail a little bit more about what I do. But that was just kind of a leg and shoulder split today that I did. So um, now we're going to take it to the house. So let's go ahead and go. We're going to go and uh, get something to eat. All right, guys. So I almost forgot that I was going to talk with y'all about intermittent fasting and the benefits, pros and cons. All right, guys. So some of the benefits, I, just, I have these down here I wanted to tell y'all. So... Improve mental clarity and concentration, weight and body fat loss, lowered blood insulin and sugar levels, reversal of type 2 diabetes, increased energy. And for me, guys, I find that that's true. If I, whenever you eat a lot, uh, so you eat a huge meal, you know, you usually get sleepy after. You know, your body has to digest that, so it pulls a lot of blood and stuff to your stomach, to your intestines, and all that to help break down and digest all that food. So generally, on an emptier stomach, you would have more energy, it, it would seem. Now, and I know for me that's true. Whenever I work out, like if I eat a big meal and then go try to work out, I just don't have the drive that I have compared to when I've not eaten. If I don't eat the thing, I go in there an empty stomach, I feel like I have more energy. Lowered blood cholesterol, increase in growth hormone, improved fat burning, and there's, a, there's a, also a potential in the prevention of Alzheimer's disease. 
a potential in longer life, activation of cellular cleansing, and reduction of inflammation. And you may have heard that fasting puts your body into starvation mode. So like you won't burn any calories, you'll, you'll hold on to everything. And that's a myth that is not true. Some of the myths about that, fasting puts you into starvation mode, not true. Fasting will overwhelm you with hunger, not true. Fasting causes overeating when you resume feeding. Fasting will make you lose lots of muscle, that's not true. And guys, the bottom line is, is we, we as human beings were not designed to have food all day long and just eat and eat and eat and eat every hour or eat every three hours and eat five and ten meals a day you know every 30 minutes we weren't designed to do that guys we were hunter gatherers we would go you know sometimes you know before a meal out hunting we may go a day two days you know a, a, a couple of days heck a week without food trying to find food that's how we were built our bodies were made to get out and work and hunt and not to be sitting and eating all the time that's why obesity is so high that's why di we have diabetics we have high cholesterol high blood pressure that's why we have all that stuff these days is because that's the typical North American diet and I mean people eat all the time we have fast food we have you know uh, an ever-ending supply of food we have so much food that is the issue so we weren't designed to do that so this intermittent fasting, this trend that's catching on right now is pretty popular and there are a lot of different ways to do it. Now I'm not saying, you know, go out and do it if it, if it doesn't work for you. Um, I'm not telling you to go out and do it Now use all this stuff, you know, at your discretion or if you, you're seeing a doctor and you have health problems, talk with your doctor about it. But there is a lot of, a lot of positive, a lot of, a lot of research out now that's catching on. It's a lot of people are losing weight. Uh, feeling better, um, having more energy, um, boost growth hormone. There's a lot of a lot of pros to intermittent fasting. What it comes down to, guys, is if you are serious about this, do your own research. You know, don't believe what everybody else tells you and what you hear. Do your own research. Look at the studies that have been performed. It, like I said, it's getting more popular. So just look at those studies. Make your own decision. Um, that's the best thing. You know, I like I like to make an informed decision. You know myself based on you know what I feel is good for me and everybody's different you know it may not be that you know you want to lose you know you want to lose weight you may be wanting to gain weight but all in all guys you know overall uh, not eating all the time is better for your body and there's there's a couple of uh, you know the bodybuilders uh, Rashid Evans you know he eats one meal a day there's a lot of people who eat one meal a day and they used to talk about pros and cons to that, you know, I mean, when you're constantly eating all the time, you know, you, your body is, you're constantly, your stomach is having to, you know, digest the food, you know, your gallbladder um, secreting bile, your pancreas working, your liver trying to metabolize, metabolize everything, um, you know, saliva in your mouth, you're constantly breaking, breaking food down, um, you're constantly your, your body is constantly working digesting food so um, and to me you know I don't think that's that's a good idea like I said we were not designed to do that so um, you know going periods you know a couple hours like you know when you're sleeping you talk you know, talk about breakfast that's essentially breaking the fast it's in the word break fast breakfast so you know and working out after that you know I usually when I was burning trying to burn fat you know I would I would get up in the morning and just do cardio not necessarily like heavy weight training but cardio and, you know just just run just do some cardio then I would eat um, right now you know being night shift that's kind of like that is breakfast for me like I said tonight you know I didn't do all that I didn't eat a whole lot but I did eat some just to so I would have some energy because it was gonna be a while you know, I was getting this camera stuff together for y'all trying to get out there to the gym and you know, this has just, just been a production tonight. It's really <laughs> put me behind with stuff that I had to do, but you know, I was trying to get content out for y'all. So, um, but anyway, guys, that's kind of, kind of where I am on it. Make your own decision. If you want to do it, great. If you don't want to do it, hey, that's great too. Uh, this is just kind of what I've been doing and uh, it's been working for me. But anyway, I'm Kevin Reese. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here.